Hey everyone, I'm going to be showing you guys my collection of fig trees, even though there are not many today. Right here I have two fig trees. They're kind of, you know, winded up together a little bit. They almost look like one, but they're two. If you take a look closer, there's one and there's a second one. It's probably about, you know, six to eight inches apart. The first one right here is a strawberry verte. Uh, it's a green fig. Inside is very dark red, uh, sweet, uh, tasty actually, very tasty. This year it's pretty loaded. There's figs everywhere on this thing. So they're medium. Um, the fig next to it is the, the Barnasot. I love the leaves on this thing, check it out. Very, very big leaves. Single lobe too, a lot of them. But these figs are huge. So this is a, a dark fig. Um, and you could tell, you know, the, the figs here, b before they're, th these, are not, these aren't even ready, but you could tell they're pretty big figs. I wrapped a few today in these organza bags. They're starting to turn color. And they're pretty huge figs down here. They should be ready in a few weeks or so. And then over here I have the strawberry verte that I took uh, from a cutting this past season. I think, was it last season? Actually no, it was, it was this water that I rooted, yeah. So I'll probably just give that away to one of my neighbors. Here I have a Figo Preto that I started from a cutting this year also. And down here, I took off a few figs so they can get ripe a little quicker. They were very small. I looked like they were gonna take a little bit longer. Uh, recently, I just put mulch on the fig trees. Um, I think it's helping. The roots seem to love it. The feeder roots are all popping out from the bottom so they love it and it's helping keep the moisture in I don't have to water as much so that's really good and then over here I have my Violet de Bordeaux fig tree this is also a dark fig it's a very tasty fig the inside I would say is not very bright red but sort of burgundy I have one getting ripe here. I've probably had a few figs off this tree already. Put the organza bags just so you know, maybe birds or squirrels can stay away from them. Hopefully they don't get to the figs before I do. Again, mulch down here, just keeping in moisture. And that's pretty much my fig trees that I have in this corner of the yard. All right, thanks for watching.